friends, today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 most game-changing products from 2016. I decided not to do just my top 10 favorites because we just did the ride or die tag and you kind of know what my favorite products are. I wanted to talk about the products that came into my life last year and that were just amazing and changed the way I do things in one way or another. So first up is a product that I really feel very passionately about and I cannot recommend enough. It is the Smashbox Contour Stick Trio. Having said that, I don't use the highlighter shade because it's a matte highlight and I can get the same effect from a concealer or something like that so I don't use that much but the bronzer and the contour shades are unbelievable. I use them almost every single time I wear makeup because it's just so easy. The product super super creamy so you literally just have to draw it on your face, blend it with your foundation brush or your sponge or your fingers and you're done. You have to be a little bit careful not to over blend because then it kind of disappears because it is a very soft product but if you just gently kind of blend it into the skin it looks really natural the tone is very very good certainly for my skin color and I find the contour pencil in particular just really really foolproof because like, I love the idea of contouring but I'm not like really that good at it and I find powder contouring a bit difficult this just makes it super super simple so if you ever wanted to try contouring this is a great product the bronzer also is just a really lovely natural looking shade on me um, I use it in all the kind of usual spots top of my forehead along my cheekbones um, and then I normally actually go over it with a, a powder bronzer as well just kind of two very subtle layers that makes it more more long-lasting but absolutely love this product also I've had these all year and I use them like I said super super regularly and I've still got a whole pencil left of each so you just know these are going to last me forever. Something you will have heard me talk about at the end of last year is the Body Shop Skin Defense. This is their SPF 50. This is an absolutely game changing product for people with oily skin. Like I said when I originally spoke about it in the favorites video, I found it impossible basically to find an SPF that I could wear under makeup and by that I mean one that didn't cost 2,000 Rand like there are a lot of very premium skincare brands that do excellent lightweight formulations of SPF but I just personally can't bring myself to spend that kind of money on an SPF so I discovered this when I went to a, a body shop function I think in like November and I just think it's incredible it doesn't leave a white cast it's totally lightweight it sinks in without leaving any kind of greasy residue it's like you're not wearing anything at all and it's made me wear SPF under my makeup when I didn't used to because it just otherwise would be an oil slick. So that is not only a game changing product for me, but I think something that's going to really improve the state of my face. Last year, Revlon scrapped all of their mascaras and came out with five new ones based around different effects. So there was one that was for lengthening, one for volumizing, one for definition, etc. Of the ones that I tested, this turned out to be my favorite. This was the Volume and Length Magnified. This has got a natural bristle brush that's very um, sort of fat and, and bushy. And what I like about it is it is an awesome everyday mascara. It gives you very fluttery, plush lashes, like just a row of fine fluffy lashes and it doesn't transfer on me so for me it's the perfect everyday mascara I just think it's awesome I don't use it on my bottom lashes because the brush is a little bit big I have a I use a very skinny brush from Mac for that but I really enjoyed this mascara and I've used it a lot more than my Max Factor false lash effect this year. I'm not going to say I prefer it because I don't. Um, it is a little more subtle than that um, but nonetheless it is an amazing mascara and I've really enjoyed using it. Also from Revlon was my absolute favorite liquid lipstick launch of the year and that was their Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. These are the colors I use the most. This is Seduction. Yeah and this one is Addiction. Seduction obviously an incredibly wearable everyday nude. This just looks awesome. It looks so beautiful on Camilla. Like it looks nice on me but like ridiculous on Camilla. So cool. I think maybe something about this color is really flattering for brunettes but I mean it also looks fine on blondes in my opinion. Um, and then this uh, very dark berry shade I wore a lot in winter and I just love it. It's just they're long lasting. They are not completely matte, they're creamy, they lean matte but they don't dry down completely um, but they don't dry out your lips for that reason as well and they tend to last forever. I actually will, with this one, I'll always wear a lip liner underneath, put this on top and then I pretty much never have to reapply for the rest of the day. Another product from the end of last year is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. This I was so surprised by. I've tried a lot of drugstore eyeshadow primers. I have such oily eyelids that I can't even think about wearing eyeshadow without an eyeshadow primer. And I've tried a lot of them and most of them are just rubbish. This is so good. This is as good as the Urban Decay 
Primer Potion, I've tested them against each other, the performance is identical, this costs an absolute fraction of the price. So I don't have much else to say about that, it is amazing. A brand I discovered last year for the first time is Colourpop and my favourite highlighter of the whole year and my favourite product from the brand in general is their Super Shock Cheek which is a kind of a cream highlighter and in the shade Lunch Money. This is just gorgeous. No perceivable glitter, no chunky flakes, just total champagne perfection on the cheeks. It looks incredibly natural on the skin because it's a kind of cream, I say kind of cream because it is a weird sort of bouncy texture but it's essentially a cream. Because of that texture it just looks incredibly natural on the skin. You get a much more everyday easy wearing highlight. I just think the tone is gorgeous. They make I think five or six different shades of, of their cream highlighter. I love it so much. I've used it a ton this year. It's just so good. Another product I got such joy out of last year was my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is the original one that came out last Christmas. It came with three of the ambient lighting powders, a bronzer and two blush shades. This is Mood Exposure which is in Camilla's favourites and is just a killer everyday blush. This is a much more punchy bright pink shade. This is called Luminous Flush. Such a gorgeous summer blush and this is just the most perfectly luminous bronzer. It's amazing. I was a little bit hesitant to try the formula because I was worried that with oily skin they were just going to exacerbate the problem but there's just something about them that makes your skin look luminous as the name suggests and just really really healthy and gorgeous and never too shiny. It's The formula is everything that they say it is and if you've ever thought about trying an hourglass powder I can highly recommend it. My personal favorite in terms of the face powders is Dim Light which is that one there kind of beigey tone. It's just great for all over, the, all over the face. Moving to skincare now, one of the things I've discovered that I know I'm going to have a love affair with for the rest of my life is the Clarins Self Tanning Milky Lotion. This is essentially the body version of the gradual face tanner that um, has been around for years and I've used for years. In fact I have it on now. So it comes out as a white cream, not a dark tanning lotion that has like a guide color so it looks like a moisturizer it smells like figs not like biscuits so it goes on like a regular cream you literally just rub it into your limbs or wherever it is using it you can also use it on your face it's basically the same formula as a face one like I said and what it does is give you the perfect natural glow without being orange without being streaky without fading in a patchy way it is perfect and it's foolproof you cannot mess it up it's amazing you never get orange hands you never get a weird smudge it's just such good stuff and I never ever used to use self tan because I cannot be bothered it's just too much of a faff this is self tan for people who hate self tan it's amazing love it love it love it my last two products are from beautiful local brands that I am thrilled to have found. The first is Skin Creamery, now I won't go on too long. The everyday cream for face and body. The most hydrating body cream in the whole world that you also happen to be able to use on your face. Just utter deliciousness, love that, this is my second bottle. The facial hydrating oil which I use all the time, put it onto damp skin, it just sinks in and leaves your skin feeling nourished and just gorgeous and smells yummy, this is just divine. This is place things for me like um, like the Clarins facial oils which I do love but I just I like to support a local brand and this is as good and newer from them is their um, oil milk facial cleanser this is incredible makes your skin really clean without stripping it emulsifies completely so you don't need to use a washcloth to take it off you can literally just splash your face this has become my my new obsession I absolutely love this it's awesome the brand in general is incredible it's made locally it's mostly organic it's all natural they deliver it like lightning pace when you shop online at their website it's just I, I mean I'm not gonna go on you guys know how I feel about skin creamery newer to my collection is this gorgeous thing from Lulu and Marula and this is the balancing cleansing balm this has replaced the Emma Hardy Moringa cleansing balm for me which is a big call because I super love that cleansing balm but it's quite expensive and I always had to lug a massive tub of it back from the UK and quite frankly this is as good. It smells outrageous as in delicious. Oh botanical goodness. It's so good and it just again really nourishing, really cleansing, feels so good on your skin. I just I love it so much and yeah so that that changed the game for me in terms of my my everyday cleansing balm. I use that now every single day instead of the Emma Hardy and I love it. 
So those are the 10 most game changing products from last year. Please let me know if you discovered any of these and anything else I need to know about. Leave a comment below. If you aren't subscribed, that's very rude. Please subscribe right now and we'll see you soon. Bye bye. My most exciting launch for 2016, and I'm sure for many of you as well, has been the launch of Urban Decay. Um, the fact that we can now get naked palettes locally is just too exciting. 